Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Dom and today we're going to be having a look at generating PDFs but including images within them using JavaScript. Now this is easily done using a very popular uh, client side library called JS PDF and you may have even used it before. So the whole point of this exercise is to of course include an image within your PDF. So I've got this image right here called decode.png and it's saved within a directory called images under my public uh, folder here and I've also got this index HTML. So let's go inside the browser right here. Now I'm going to be linking this down below in the description and it's the GitHub page for JS PDF, the library which we're going to be using in this video. Now if we scroll down we can see it is a library for generating PDFs on the client side with JavaScript and there are many ways you can go about installing it. In this video, for simplicity, uh, we're going to be using the CDN approach. So essentially just copying this line here and placing it in the head of the HTML document. But you can use uh, things like Node.js as well if you are you know, going with that approach for your project or your website. So I'm just going to copy the CDN uh, script tag right here, go back inside the HTML file, then of course inside the head, paste in that, uh, that link there, and now we can take advantage of JS PDF on the web page. So if I go onto my, uh, my live server for this index HTML, I'll just zoom in here. Now, Going inside the console, if I log out uh, JS PDF, this here is the entire library. Now, there is a property called JS PDF with a capital P, D and F, and this is what you can use to make a new instance of a document. So we're going to be utilizing that. Now, in order to gain uh, that constructor, we can go back inside the JavaScript and within the script tags down here, make a new instance of it. So first, let's say const, then use object destructuring here to say JS PDF in all caps for the PD and F is equal to JS PDF just like this. And this is going to essentially take the JS PDF property of the lowercase JS PDF and of course place it inside this constant. So now hopping down here, let's make a new PDF document. If I say const doc is equal to a new instance of JS PDF, that is all I need to do. Now if I console.log the doc and save and go back in the browser here, we can see we get this object being uh, you know logged out to us. And you've got so many things you can uh, utilize here to generate and build up your PDF document. But we care about the add image method right here to, of course, add the image to the document. Now, I want to go down and just simply do uh, doc.save. Then we can name uh, we can name the documents. Let's say here decode-pdf.pdf just like this. And calling this is going to, uh, you know, pop up with the dialogue to say, do you want to save the PDF? If I go back in the browser here, we can see that we have the option at the bottom in Chrome, it is downloaded the PDF. If I was to open it up, we can see, of course, it's a blank PDF. So let's add that document in. Going back inside VS Code here, sorry, let's add the image in, should I say. Now, back inside VS Code, let's first create a new instance of an image, okay? This is going to be an object in JavaScript which represents an image and we're also going to tell it which path it can find the image at. So, let's hop down here and say const uh, image is equal to a new instance of an image just like this. Now, to put it in simple terms, this image uh, object here is very similar to a standard image tag in your HTML document. Just keep that in mind, right? This means I can say image.src or source is equal to and then specify a path. I can say images forward slash decode.png. That is the name of my image file. If I go back inside here, we can see the path right up there. So Going back in the index HTML, we now have the image. Let's add it to the document. This is very straightforward. You say doc.add image. Now, 
the first argument to the add image method here is going to be the image object. Let's say image just like that. Next, you need to specify the type of image. In this case here, it's gonna be PNG. Let's say PNG right here. You can also choose to provide JPEG as well if you wish. Now, the last two arguments that are required here are going to be the position of the image. Let's say zero and zero, because of course, a PDF document is going to be a 2D plane. You can get an X and a Y. So by saying zero, zero, you're putting it in the top left corner. So now I've saved this. If I go back in the browser here, we can now see I've got another image to be, sorry, another PDF to be downloaded. If I open this one up, we can see it has nothing. So unfortunately, the image did not download. I'll just refresh the page here to try again. Hopefully it works this time. And there we go. So I'm not sure what happened on the first run, but uh, it's working now. So we have the image loaded inside the PDF document. Now, as we can see, it is a little bit large, okay? This is because we are yet to specify a width and height for the image, okay? So going back inside BS Code here, we can provide two more arguments for the width and height. Let's say 100 for the width and 100 for the height. Now, if you need to maintain your aspect ratio, of course, you can uh, you know, work out the height based on the width or vice versa. Do a bit of maths to work that value out and maintain the aspect ratio. But for now, this image is a square, so I'm gonna keep it at 100 and 100 to uh, you know, keep this example simple. If I, go, if I now save this and go back in the browser and I allow the multiple files button at the top here, I'll click on the PDF again, and now it is a lot smaller. Now, one thing to mention here is that I specified 100 by 100. Now, it depends essentially on your scaling on the PDF. I'm not too sure exactly how it works. I'm not a PDF expert, but essentially you can instruct the PDF how much space a single pixel is gonna take up, if that makes sense. Now, like I said, I'm no expert in this, but all I know is that in this example here, this PDF document, it looks to be around 220 pixels wide because we said 100 for the logo, but it's just under halfway. So I'm sure you can adjust this value if you wish to, but it might take a bit of messing around to figure out exactly what your width and height should be for your, uh, for your image here. So uh, that is how to add images to a PDF document using client-side JavaScript and the JS PDF library. If you learned something from this video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.